Pinky here. So glad to see you back for day three of Sunstar. Remember how we talked about Blue Kid's absentee father Stormtail yesterday? And how Sunfall decided to step in as a father figure in her life? Well, today the scene my sister Rachel, the mystical and ever elusive artist, is going to be drawing is of Sunfall's first book interaction with Blue Kit. Funny side note, I have actually gotten several comments of people not believing that Rachel exists and that I just like to talk about myself in third person. I promise you, she does exist. I'm Lily, not Rachel, and there's no way these speed paints would be able to come out daily if I was the only one doing them. One, I can only color, and two, it truly takes the work of two people to collaborate and come up with ideas for the drawings and storytelling voiceovers of these speed paints. And we're able to keep each other motivated to get our work done and provide you guys with daily quality content. Anyways, so Blue Kid is almost an apprentice age at this part of the book, and she's curious to explore outside the camp. Sunfall catches her trying to sneak out, but instead of yelling at her, he offers to take her out himself and show her some of ThunderClan's territory. I'll read this part to you now. If you guys want to follow along, it'll be on pages 48 through 53 in Blue Star's Prophecy. Trying not to wake anyone, Blue Kit squeezed out of the nursery. Blue Kit breathed deeply, opening her mouth to let the scent of the woods wash against the roof of her mouth. The forest smelled musty, rich with decay, giving up its fragrance like fresh-killed prey. Her mouth watered. She longed to be among the trees beyond the gorse barrier. Padding towards it, she sniffed at the tantalizing smells that drifted through the entrance. Do you want to go out? Sunfall's voice made her jump, and she spun around guiltily. I, I was just looking. I'll take you if you like, the Thunderclan deputy offered. Blue Kit blinked. What about Pine Star? Won't he be angry? Not if you're with me. Sunfall padded away towards the tunnel. Breathless with excitement, Blue Kit followed, feeling her tail brush the gorse in the ground beneath her paws, smooth from so many paw steps. She emerged on the other side of the barrier. The scents of the forest flooded her nose and mouth. Leaves, earth, moss, prey, flavors so rich that she could taste them on her tongue. A wind stirred her whiskers, untainted by the familiar scents of the camp. It smelled strange and wild. All around Blue Kit, rich leaf fall hues dappled the forest like a tortoiseshell's pelt. Sunfall led her along a well-trodden path towards the foot of a slope so steep that Blue Kit had to crane her neck to see the top. We're in the very heart of ThunderClan's territory. He glanced upwards. But up there, at the top of the ravine, the forest stretches to our borders on every side. You climb up there? She searched the slope, trying to work out what route her clanmates used to find their way among the rocks and bushes that jutted out above them. This is the easiest path. Sunfall padded to a gap between two massive boulders where the stone and earth had crumbled into a slope. He bounded nimbly up it and leaped onto one of the boulders. Looking down at Blue Kit, he meowed. You try. Blue Kit padded tentatively to the bottom of the rock fall. It was easy to scrabble up the first few tellings, but the slope suddenly steepened and her paws started to slip on the loose stones. Heart racing, she made a desperate leap towards the boulder where Sunfall waited only just managing to claw her way beside him. Feeling less than dignified, she shook out her fur. It gets easier with practice. Sunfall turned and led her up a muddy gully that weaved along the slope. It stopped at the bottom of another huge boulder. Blue Kit stared up in horror. Does he expect me to climb that? Sunfall was gazing up at the smooth rock surface. His eyes narrowed. Can you see the dents and hold where you might get a grip? As Blue Kit scanned the rock, she started to notice chips and cracks in the stone. A dip in one side that would give her something to push against, a chink just above it where she might get a claw hold, a useful chip in the rock beyond that. Would these small cracks be enough to let her scramble to the top? She waited for Sunfall to lead the way, but he motioned her upwards with his muzzle. You go first, he meowed. I'll be right behind in case you slip. Luca unsheathed her claws. I won't slip. Crouching back on her haunches, she tends to jump, her eyes fixed on the first tiny ledge where she might get a grip. Trembling with effort, she leaped and hooked a claw onto the chink propelling herself upwards and pushing against the dip in the rock with her hind paws. She was amazed to find herself already sitting at the next crack, grabbing hold and pushing upwards again, until, by some miracle, she found herself panting at the top. Peering down the sheer rock, she saw Sunfall. He seemed small on the forest floor below. Had she really jumped so far with just a couple of paw holds? Great climb. Sunfall landed silently on the rock beside her. Which way now, do you think? Blue Kate glanced behind her. She spotted a steep but well-worn path which weaved around the trunk of Twisted Hazel. Without waiting for a reply, she hurried along the track, following it as it steepened, and turned back on itself, and began to snake between the boulders studying the crest of the ravine. She was nearly at the top! The forest was only a few tail lengths away. 
Panic shot through her like lightning as the earth beneath her claws crumbled and she fell backwards, sliding and skidding her belly down the path. Scrambling for a grip, she let out a wail. Something soft broke her fall. I've got you! Sunfall wriggled from underneath her and grabbed her scruff to steady her. Lucid's heart thumped as she swung over the steep drop below. She felt for ground, her legs shaking. Sunfall let go and she regained her balance. Sorry, uh, I shouldn't have gone so fast. When you're bigger and there's more strength in your hind legs, you can go this way. But for now, let's use this path instead. Lukit followed his gaze to a stony trail twining upwards through a cluster of smaller rocks. She followed him along it, letting her paw steps fall in behind his. A tail length from the top, the path ended in a sheer wall of rock that leaned out above them. With one leap, Sunfall bounded up over the edge. Lukit took a deep breath and jumped up, reaching with her forepaws to grasp the grassy cliff top, and began to haul herself over the edge. She caught sight of Sunfall leaning forward, his teeth heading for her scruff. I can do it! She puffed before he could grasp her. Her muscles burned with effort as she dragged herself over the edge and flopped on the soft grass, panting. Well done, Sunfall congratulated her. Catching her breath, Blue Kit glanced down the ravine. The camp was hardly visible beneath the treetops, and the clearing appeared as a pale splash beyond the auburn leaves. She twisted her head to look into the forest. Bushes crowded the edges, and trees stretched away into the shadows. Branches creaked and shuddered in the wind. An excited shiver ran down her pelt. Is that where the patrols hunt every day? Sunfall nodded. You'll be going with them soon. This is something Blue Kit's own father should have done with her. But alas, Stormtail was too busy chatting up apprentices to show his daughter around ThunderClan's territory. Luckily, Sunfall was there for her so she didn't get herself hurt trying to explore on her own. It would have been a real pity if Blue Star's prophecy only ended up being 48 pages long. I'd love to hear in the comment section down below your favorite father figures in the Warrior Cat series. I think Sunstar is a great one for Blue Star, as is White Storm and Lionheart to Firepaw. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to go and check out the video over on the side of my last speed paint. And click that subscribe button so you can always be notified when I make my next video. Alright guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon with the next speed paint. Bye bye